with another market watch update for Winwood for the month of March 2023. It's been a while since I've done one of these videos. I apologize. I'm going to be trying to do them for the rest of the spring and summer as well. So normally in the spring market, there's all sorts of real estate activity. Uh, this year, the inventory remains low, just like it was last year. Um, even though the prices are higher and the rates are higher, there's still a lot of buyer demand in Lower Marion. Uh, if you're a seller and you think that you might have missed like the boat and you're like, oh, I wish I sold my home last year, you know, prices were so high and you read these national headlines about how the market's crashed and blah, blah, blah. That is not the case for Lower Marion. Um, there's just so many buyers that still want to get in here. And a lot of them want to move in the spring. Like the rates dipped early January a bit and like a bunch of buyers got back out in, into the market. They've been in the mid sixes since then. So yeah, if you thought that you might have missed the boat, you didn't. And it's still a great time to sell. Uh, I can't, I don't know what's going to happen in the summer. Like last summer, everyone got caught flat footed. The market definitely crashed a bit there for, you know, a couple months. So who knows? But like right now is a very, very good time to sell. There are tons of buyers that are trying to get in here. Also, it seems like more and more, I think the story of 2023 is privately selling and like off market deals. So what happens is buyers, they send in a couple offers and they lose just because like the houses these days get multiple bids. So if a home's listed privately, even at like a higher price, buyers will want to buy that home just so that they don't have to deal with, you know, the whole public market and what's going on there. So that's actually like, I'm in the process of that right now with buyers in Wynwood, a house in Short Ridge, where we had a couple offers that we lost. There was a private home in Wynwood. We went above the asking price, waived inspections and everything. We were like, don't make that go public. We want that. And then that's how we got the house. So if you are thinking of selling your home, you don't want to deal with the whole public thing. You don't want you know everyone and their mom to know about you selling your home or what have you. Listing your home privately, there's a lot of different ways that you can do it. And you're very much in control of the process with how much information is shared. Sometimes you don't even like have photos posted. There's a couple of homes we'll see where... The photos weren't even uploaded. Um, one of them was sold in half a day. So that's a, definitely a good option. And then if you know people who have been looking and they just haven't been able to find anything or whatever, um, you know, it pays to work with a compass agent like myself, where we have access to a lot of homes that are off market that maybe other people don't. So I'm going to share my screen and get to the market report. There's a couple homes that are up. So this one on Old Gap, there's going to be an open house there tomorrow uh, for one eight. Uh, Manoa, that one's been up for sale for a while. Remington, that one's pending now. McLenahan Mill, that one went that's one two nine five. I think that got like over one five. Don't quote me on that, but I know that went well over. This one on Haverford Road is up for ages. It's finally pending. Same with Valley Tour, that one was up for a bit. I mean, that house is huge, very large lot. It does back up to Lancaster though. This one on Kent for one four five, right next to the school. I'm, um, Sheffield for 550, that's under contract. Primrose 925. So that one was actually like a privately listed one. Nobody, you know, wanted it. Like there wasn't that many people that were looking at it privately. And then it went public and it sold. Uh Almer, that one went, I, I don't even know how high that one went so high. That I mean, that home. So there's this link and in the email. So you can go through these homes. I would go through that. That home's gorgeous. Uh, this one on Manoa 489, that one was quick. That was, uh, I mean, if you're looking at, I don't know how much higher that one, but that was a really, really sharp looking home. This one on North Wynwood for 700K. I mean, that, I, I so yeah, there are some homes that I see where I'm like, I don't know if this home's worth it, but I know someone's going to pay for it. And that happens all the time still. Last year, we were seeing homes get 10 to 20% over asking. This year, we're more seeing zero to 10% over asking just because the prices like are higher. But yeah, homes are routinely getting over asking. This one on Lancaster Ave, five ninety nine. I think that was like what it was listed for. This one on Harrogate, that went how much over? Ten percent above asking. So that, you know, that's kind of like on the higher end of what we're seeing above asking. I mean, that you know, three bed, one and a half bath, seventeen hundred square foot home for nearly six hundred. This one on Wiltshire for nine hundred. That was a cool home. That so, it's four bed. It's actually two and a half bath, and it's like four thousand square foot living space so i think that home sat for a while for 43 days one it was not there was not professional pictures done which is just like a cardinal sin and then two i think it was actually two and a half bath like properly listed that would have gotten so much more traffic because a lot of people 
want at least two and a half bats. For Wiltshire, so this was sold by my team leader, Randy Barker. She is the best in the business. Um, that home, they did such a gorgeous job with the master bath. It was so nice. And that was a private home. So, you know, they they did not, the sellers of that just did not want to publicly sell their home for whatever reason. And we were able to sell that in half a day, literally half a day. Um, so that was a really nice looking home. So again, if you want to sell your home, but you don't want to do it publicly, and you just want to say like, well, I'd move if someone gave me this price, privately listing your home with Compass is a really, really good way to like do that. And it's, you know, doesn't hurt you because it doesn't go in the public market. And it's like, hey, you give the seller this price, they'll move. If not, they're not. Uh, this one down here, 421 Charles, that was another off-market one by Compass. Um, 250 Hathaway, that one was 145. That was 4% above asking. Um, I mean, yeah, that's just, you know, that's nearly 1.5 mil for that kind of house. 608 Argyle for 750. Uh, that was just an interesting home. This one in Anton, they priced that too high. So that was 17% below asking, but that was 124. And that was all the activity. So I'm going to stop. So again, I think this year, like privately selling homes is the way to go. Um, it's it's easier for buyer because they you know there's not as much multiple bid action. It's easier for sellers too because sometimes they could test a higher price. Sometimes they, you know, don't have to like leave the home all the time for all these showings and what have you. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, my contact info is at the bottom of the email. Just feel free to reach out, text, call, what have you. I'd love to help out or just be a resource. All right, that's it. Have a good one. Bye.